Railways has announced the hike in railway fare after 10 years. Railways Minister P.K. Bansal announced in New Delhi the hike in fares of second class and AC class travel. The hike will come into effect from 21st of January. The hike that we're looking at is between 2 and 10 paise in railway fares that, for example, a Delhi Chennai Rajdhani trip will now cost 318 rupees more. The plan, as you are again aware, last year's plan was, of course, 44,500 crores. We wish to take it to 60,100 crores this year. Because of the rollback, it had to be then brought down. And because of the subsequent events, like the slowdown of the economy and, the impact of, and its impact on the railways, again has led down to further revision, which I think will limit the plan to, this is a rough estimate presently, this will likely to limit the plan estimate to about 51,000 crores in this year. So keeping all these things in view and the imperative to not reduce the, ex the allocations on safety measures and the cleanliness on which I have tried to lay emphasis during this period of two and a half months. We, after all the deliberations, careful consideration of all the issues, have decided to effect an increase in the fare hike with effect from 21st of this month. But Second class ordinary suburban two paise per kilometer. Second class ordinary non-suburban three paise per kilometer. Second class mail express trains four paise per kilometer. Sleeper class six paise per kilometer. AC chair car ten paise per kilometer. AC three tier. 10 paise per kilometer, AC first class, it had been increased by 10 paise earlier this year. So 10 paise plus another 3 paise per kilometer. AC two tier had been increased by 15 paise in, with effect from 1st April. So in addition to that 15 paise per kilometer, another 6 paise per kilometer. AC first class, and the executive class fare had been increased by 30 paise per kilometer in with effect from 1st of April 2012. Now in addition to that 30 paise per kilometer, another 10 paise per kilometer. Well, the hike in railway tariff is concerned. Surely it is going to have a cascading effect on the poor common man who are already reeling under the impact of inflation which is close to 10% as far as food inflation is concerned. I'm sure while talking about subsidy cuts or tariff rise, if the government ensure, assures the nation about determination to check corruption, maybe India will feel a, in Indians will feel a little better. Still we are opposing the hike of the railway fiat. It will hurt the common peoples. It is anti-peoples. And there is other means to increase the revenue of the railway, but without going through the other reason, they have taken the easiest method for increase of their funds and bypassing the parliament. As because they know very well that in parliament they are the minorities, so bypassing the parliament just before the budget, they are hiking the hike the hike the fare of the railways, which is absolutely against the interest of the common peoples the railway is the most friendly transport for the common peoples the hike is not too much i hope it just remains steady for after for 10 15 years i uh, like the slow first this so that it will not affect everyone in the long term it was okay businesses can understand that railways also do some finances near uh, everybody is very poor and they find difficult to even buy the tickets and just go without tickets. Now every hike and a 20 percent hike is very high. Kiraya, बढ़ाइए, बेशक बढ़ाइए, पर स्लीपर क्लास में आम जनता चलती है। 
सीपर क्लास में किराया बढ़ा जाना बिल्कुल गलत है इसी में बढ़ाए क्योंकि वहाँ पे लोग पैसे पे कर सकते हैं पैसे वाले हैं वो तो आराम से सफर कर लेते हैं उनको कोई दिक्कत नहीं होती है लेकिन जो कृषि पर जो आश्रित है जो गरीब लोग है निम्न वर्ग के लोग हैं उनको जो है सो काफी परेशानी का सामना करना पड़ता है कैसे नहीं आएंगे उसके मेंटेनेंस किस तरह लिंक होगी और अच्छे रूप से और सुरक्षित किस तरह चलाई जाएगी सुरक्षा के देश से संरक्षक देश से हर देश से आवश्यक नाउ दिस इज अ गुड बिगिनिंग बट इट इज टू लिटिल टू लेट बट वेरी फैक्ट दैट आफ्टर टेन इयर्स मिनिस्टर हैज बीन एबल टू टेक करेज and at least restore what was suggested in the budget presented by the government i think let us build further on it but it is only a beginning